Okay. All right. What up? What up? Shout out to all the people. I hope everybody's freaking getting it done today. What's up, my man? Mm. Made some fucking last night, yesterday. I don't know if you guys can see this. See this right here? I was, this is my first batch of uh, THC Sizzurp. Or for those that don't know, THC Lean. Yeah, the little stuff that makes, the stuff that makes Lil Wayne stroke out. But we finally freaking got the recipe situated. And I think we actually freaking, I think we're actually able to, to get it right and be able to put it in the, uh, and put it in the, uh, oh man, hold on here. I'm dragging ass because. I freaking sampled some of that freaking scissor last night. And to be quite honest, it's almost got me like a shout out, shout out to Kristen LaFrance. It's almost got me at like a hungover status. But I didn't drink that much of it. So I'm not sure if that's just how they do it. Okay. Sweet banana fofana, blackberry diesel, nice. But yeah. Matter of fact, hold on. Give me just a second. Let's put some let's put some music on here. Uh oh, and if you're and if you're uh What's up? What's up? We may do that. We may be. I'm. Um, I'm looking. Okay. I want to. I want to let you guys know. And I'm going to say this publicly. One of my personal goals is to find formats for marijuana where it's undetectable and easy to freaking. <clears throat> Well, not undetectable. It's undetectable as a freaking as a non-standard object, and it's easy to transport, and it and it's not invasive. I.e., it doesn't smell like a bunch of weed. It doesn't freaking look like a bunch of weed. There's not a bunch of people smoking hanging around, and uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, fuck it. And that's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to do with this. <laughs> ha ha. Kristen, I just may send you some. Uh, yeah, let us know when you get your piece and stuff. But it's it's on the way. But you, I just, this stuff right here, and I and I think I ended up with. Uh, I, I can't even. I I'm not sure of the dosage. And this is our first batch. I'm not sure of the dosage simply because I'm not sure of the THC percentage of the weed. It's not from the dispensary. It's some it's some homegrown weed, not from some guy out in the backwoods, but we grew it here, but we didn't take it to anybody for them to figure out how to uh how strong it is or how many milligrams of THC is in it. I have to put my plan on the interwebs. It throws them off. Seeds or syrup, yeah. Seeds or syrup. Oh man. Ugh. Whew, like I said, I'm 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 moving slow today. I'm freaking oh, do me a favor. Take this video and share it all around the internet to all your all your peeps, all your freaking friends. Share this video because here. In the next, <clears throat> here in the next couple of days, 
I'm actually going to freaking shoot a video that's going to show you exactly how to make this same THC syrup. And we're also, the thing we're going to do today, the reason why I haven't made the video today is because today we're going to be working on adding uh, fruit. Oh, man. Definitely. Tori, PM me. PM me, Tori. PM me. Get, get in that inbox. But yes, want to welcome Tori to the stream. And guys, I want you to know, did you know that Tori knows Santa Claus? Because Santa Claus was at her house yesterday holding her little baby, which is awesome, by the way. So, yeah. But all right. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just, I'm just getting going. Normally when we do the, when we do the, uh, when we do the morning wake and bake, I've been up for a while, freaking just getting stuff together and getting stuff done. But today I got to tell you, your boy's hung over on some, from some scissor. Uh, whoo, from some scissor. I got a freaking shave my head today, so my freaking white hair ain't showing. And also, and also, I don't know any of you guys out there that play video games on Xbox Live or anything like that, but today is the first day, the very first day of the Cayo Perico download or DLC for GTA 5. I know there's a bunch of adults out there that that doesn't mean anything to, but there's there's one kid out there that's like, oh my God, he just, he just talked about the Grand Theft Auto GTA 5. But yeah, because a lot of people, I get, I get a lot of messages. And the thing, the, the thing that makes this unique is that with this, with this simple syrup, you don't have to freaking you you don't have to you don't have to light it. You you don't smoke it. You can put you can simply add it to either a hot or a cold drink because the THC that's in here is already activated. So it's already been decarbed. So the THC is already activated. Um yeah. So you can oh, mm. You can freaking, you can just take a little bit. You can, you can actually take a little bit and put it on your finger, and, that, and that'll be enough. But it's, whew, yeah. So, today, wish your boy luck. Because yesterday, I was I was able to finally get the last ingredient. Yesterday, well, no. Yesterday, I was able to get, fi able to finally locate locally the last ingredient I need. Which is vegetable glycerin. And uh, yeah. Speaking of which, let's smoke a little bit of this weed. Uh. Uh. <coughs> Wait, hold on. Let me. I'm. This thing is messing me up here with this, uh, oh boy. Ale <coughs> oh, Alexa, fam uh, Alexa, back off is half brightness. Oh boy. Alexa, back off is full brightness. Okay. Oh, there's more light in there? No, we don't want that. We want less light. Alexa, back office half brightness. <laughs> oh man, okay. there we go. Get a little freaking air matriculating in here. As you can see, I'm fucking breaking out in a fucking cold sweat. But yeah, I hope you guys are freaking ready to do the deal this morning. I, I hope you guys are freaking ready to knock it out of the park. I'm gonna get in here. I've got to do some. I've got to do some things today. But I got to tell you, I'm super excited with the way that this syrup come out. So I'm in the process 
I'm in the process of freaking trying to freaking. You know what? I had heard that. Alexa, can you detect ghosts? Sorry, I don't know that, but I do have a skill you might like. It's called Ghost Detector. Want to try it? Yes! Okay, here's Ghost Detector. Welcome to Ghost Detector. Highly advanced astral plane sensors allow me to detect ghosts, phantasms, poltergeists, and other unearthly beings. To use Ghost Detector, simply say Alexa, launch Ghost Detector. I will activate my sensors and let you know if there are spirits about. If I detect any spectral beings, I can also attempt to capture them. Would you like to try detecting one now? Yes! It's hard to get a reading, but I think there's a level 2 playful ghost close by. Oh. It is worth 16 ghost bucks. You have detected one playful ghost. Okay. Kristen, I'm going to have to get back to you. Kristen, I'm going to have to get back to you because I'm going to have to find out what those ghost bucks are. Should I smoke out of should I smoke out of this or should I smoke out of this? So top or bottom? There we go. Scoot that kip that scoot that camera back a little bit. There we go. So top, small handpiece, or bottom? Freaking 14 inch steamroller. Yeah, you know what? I wish Alexa could tell me where that body came from. Okay. So, so wait, hold on. Let me make sure I get this straight. She just senses ghosts all throughout the day once you turn that thing on. Uh, steamroller. I got one vote for the steamroller. That's all it's going to take. Let's get this steamroller going. This is one of my favorite pieces. I've had this for probably, shit, it's probably coming up on freaking 14 or 15 years right now. Let's see. Let's see if we can get you guys in here so we can freaking, there we go. Also, you got to be super careful. So I, I I underestimated. I just I didn't I didn't respect the equipment. So now, with much respect to the equipment, I'm going to put a little weed in here. And I'm going to to smoke this weed. So, ladies, gentlemen, children of all ages, Ooh, that's nice. Instant, instant relaxation. Instant relaxation. Instant relaxation. Gonna freaking work on some. So today, what we've got going on, I'm trying to stay on my format, but it doesn't work. But so like today, this is what we got going on. We're gonna try to freaking make some more of this simple syrup right here. And I can make it, a, I make it a cup at a time. So <clears throat> we're going to try to make some more of that simple syrup. And when we make that simple syrup uh, today, we're also going to try it with different fruits. So we're going to try it with a little bit of pineapple, maybe with some fucking blackberries, different things like that. And we're going to see what we can actually do to get that flavor. <sighs> Excuse me. See what we got to do to get that get that flavor in there. Okay, Rachel, I have an answer for that. You have a lot of resin in your pipe that I can't reach, and it's driving you. Ah, oh, Kristen knows what's up. Sipping on some simmers right there. For a kid, you have a lot of resin in your pipe that you can't reach. The best thing you could do is if it's a small hand pipe, what you can do is you can take that small hand pipe 
and submerge it in a small um a small reusable Tupperware bowl like you would get from in a small Gladware bowl is what, what I use. That reusable Tupperware that stuff from the store comes in. Um, and I'll soak it. Soak it in that rubbing alcohol overnight. I'm not, I, I, as a person on the internet, I can't recommend that you use hot rubbing alcohol because the alcohol that I'm recommending you use is isopropyl alcohol running at between 90 and 99%. And if you attempt to heat that up, it's going to give off very flammable fumes and there's a possibility that you could hurt yourself. So, me being on the internet is not going to recommend that you heat up that isopropyl alcohol. But I will tell you this, it increases its effectiveness if it's warm. <laughs> so, but yeah, and I'm normally what I've been using lately is I've been using this stuff called grunge off and I can get it on, on the internet. If I get it on Amazon and I get two quarts at a time and I keep a, a one of those Gladware bowls right next to my kitchen sink, and I rotate a couple of pipes in there. And what I found is that if I put a pipe in there and leave in that grunge off and leave it for 24 or for 12 to 24 hours, doesn't matter whether it's wax, uh, freaking resin, freaking any type of buildup between 12 and 24 hours. If I take that, pull that pipe out of that soak and run uh, run hot water over it to get all the residue off, it will take almost any pipe that I have back to brand new. We're talking, it freaking, it even takes that, uh, you ever wash your pipe and you get that old resin smell out of it? It will even take it back, back take out that old resin smell. So, <clears throat> Yeah. Goo gone for glass pieces. <sighs> Goo got double broiler. What are you guys doing? Okay. Absolutely. All you people watching this. Absolutely do not try to heat up isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to say that one more time. Never try to heat up isopropyl alcohol. It, it, it's going to turn out bad. Okay? It's going to turn out bad. But like, <clears throat> and that's one of the reasons why, because I love a clean pipe. And that's one of the reasons why I keep that, uh, that goo gone right next to my sink because as I as a pipe becomes uh dirty once I rinse all the residue all the ash and stuff out make sure it's rinse it out with hot water let it dry off I set it in that pipe soak and when I and, and I haven't had a pipe yet that when I freaking come back and freaking uh rinse it off with hot water and fr I've not had one pipe that didn't come totally clean. And when I say clean, I'm not talking about, oh, it, shout out to Austin Rhodes. What's up, my man? When I say clean, I'm talking about freaking clean, no smell, freaking almost back. To, not in, It takes it back to almost where it looks brand new when you first bought it. And there's a, there's a if you can't, whew, Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, so. Google on cross my mind? Yes. Okay. Here. Okay. I want to tell you, Gugon is an absolute great uh, gunk and stain remover. Here's the problem. Gugon has some stuff that I'm not sure that it's it's kind of difficult to get off all the way. And yeah. You, freaking and I'm not I've had 
it's a 50 50 success rate for me for you because i've used google on before strangely enough to get shit off my pipe like wax and stuff and when i rinse it with extremely hot water it took several times for me to get that goo gone taste out of there when i smoked out of it absolutely freaking clean the shit out of it look like fucking brand new fucking better than brand new but it took me a couple of times of rinsing after that to get that little bit of hint of goo gone taste out of there when i was smoking out of it Acetone, yeah, acetone, acetone works awesome. Uh, you know, Austin, boiling, boiling glass pipes is, uh, it, it, boiling glass pipes does work. And uh, you got to, it's gonna get, once again, you got to be careful. You want to make sure you don't crack your pieces. And, but I got to tell you, that freaking Goo Gone, I, while it cleans your pipe and cleans it damn good, not recommended. I, I wouldn't recommend it. And when I say I wouldn't recommend it, I mean that it cleans your pipe absolutely, absolutely spotless. But what worries me is I don't know, I don't fully understand or know the health concerns come from freaking inhaling the gases that are coming off of that goo gone when you're heating it up in your pipe. And that's what concerns me. Because I got to tell you, once I freaking, as soon as I freaking, as soon as I, uh, as I started smoking out of it, you, you could you could taste that goo gone taste in it. It had almost like a under like an undertaste or a freaking an aftertaste freaking of with goo gone undertones that kind of to be honest with you kind of scared me. I thought I was poisoning myself. <laughs> Am I gonna be he in here for six hours live? Absolutely not. I'm not going to be here for six hours live because I wouldn't put anybody else uh, through that torture of having to spend six hours with me smoking out. Okay, 10 years product specialist at Sherman Williams, getting that acetone. Okay, legit pipe cleaner. And wait a minute, here's the freaking... Uh, what is the, uh, okay, grunge off, grunge off, if you look it up on Amazon, grunge off is probably, grunge off is probably the best thing. I'm probably not gonna be here for six hours live, but I'm actually I'm actually gonna freaking probably around noon or so. I'm gonna start for I'm gonna go over to my Twitch and my Facebook gaming, and I'm gonna be doing some uh, some live broadcast from the Twitch Kyle Perico, excuse me, from the GTA Five Kyle Perico uh, DLC. Um, yeah, so we've got some things going on this morning. I keep on, there it is. I keep on moving my lighters. Okay. Oh, damn. That's how long it's going to take you to get to Colorado? Dude. Hey, everybody take take just a quick second to freaking, hell yeah, when you get back from Denver, let's play. Everybody take a second and and send out positive vibes to our boy Austin Rhodes. He's on the road today to Denver. So, yeah. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, Chris, what's the best way? Well, it's acetone. The best way to freaking get acetone off of there is it freaking air dries, right? Chris, if you're still watching, let us know in the comments. What's the best way to remove that acetone once you clean your pipe? Because I don't know about acetone and I'm not smart enough. Ah, I want to make sure that people aren't hurting themselves. So, hey, if you're out there and you've got some freaking, if you're out there, if you're out there and you've got a, uh, You've got a piece, it's got some weed in it. Let's fucking, let's fucking toke. 
Oh, it just flashes off. Okay. Yeah. No, no residue. Dude, that is absolutely fantastic. Zero residue. Okay. That's, you know what? That's awesome because even, even with my grunge off, there's a little bit of residue and it's all, it's all freaking non-toxic and freaking kitchen safe and stuff for, for my, uh, goo gone, but there is a little bit of residue sometimes on there. But luckily, like I said, it's non-toxic. It's not freaking harmful. So I'm not going to kill myself. At least I think, or that's what they tell me. So, but yeah, speaking of which, speaking of killing yourself, let's fucking smoke some weed. Not that it kills yourself, but you know. Pew. Okay, let's change something out here. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Had to get a little freaking, and as you can see, I'm I'm getting a little bit warm. It's because I'm locked in here with my in my office, and my freaking, it's get, it's getting pretty warm in here. So I just want to crack a window, crack a window, let some of that fresh air get in there. Someone, someone sent me a message if we're going to freaking, uh, if we're going to broadcast, if we're going to broadcast. Here's your reminder. Show Tuesday and I deserve dispensary. Here's your reminder. Show Tuesday and I deserve dispensary. Okay. Alexis, remind me some shit, but I don't even know what it is. So, yeah. Oh, oh, you know what it's reminding me? It's reminding me, that was a reminder that we have a local dis dispensary. Every Tuesday is quote unquote top shelf Tuesday and their top shelf weed is 20% 20, 20 off. If you're local or if you're not, if you're here in Klamath Falls, Hyde Lakes Cannabis, Hyde Lakes Cannabis has freaking every week on Tuesday, all their top shelves are tw are 25% off. So shout out to them. I may go and pick up some stuff from them today. I may not. It just depends on what I got going on and how much of this syrup I got to taste test. The thing that takes me so long with the, sizz with the, uh, with the THC syrup is that I have to taste test it. And sometimes I don't make it. So yeah. But freaking, hopefully, if we can freaking get that going today. Maybe do a little, uh, do a little taste testing. And like I said, this freaking THC simple syrup is is very easy to make, and it's freaking. It's just another way, another freaking way that you can freaking uh, manipulate cannabis. So it's easier and more convenient to ingest and more easy and convenient to medicate yourself and more easy and convenient to freaking recreate that very same dosage. Because at the end of the day, if we if we really are truly using in this for medical reasons, we've got to be able to recreate what recreate what we're doing. We've got to be able to freaking uh, figure out what the dosage is. And we'll also be making a video on figuring out the dosage of your weed. So, uh, excuse me, figuring out the dosage of your freaking uh, THC in your edibles, because there's a specific formula that you can use. If you know the percentage of THC in your weed that you can calculate to figure out the amount of milligrams of THC in all of your edibles. And we're working on freaking making a video doing that. I'm just having some problems putting my calculator on the screen so I can sh so I can show you guys the numbers and freaking how it, how the freaking breaks down. Okay, okay. I hear you. Okay. Hey, you know what? Sometimes it be like that. 
Sometimes it be like that because you know there's and where I live, that's one of the that's one of the main the main concerns that I get. And the concern is that A, I don't know how to, I, I, I've never smoked weed before, okay? I don't want to have to go and get a lighter and pipe and pull it, grind up weed and do all this other stuff. Whereas I can take this simple syrup infused with THC and freaking take a, a medicine dropper and put a couple drops or a spoonful into a freaking cup of hot tea and drink that and I will be totally medicated. So, yeah. Chris, I might have to send you some of this freaking, might have to send you a couple samples of this freaking, uh, <sighs> this fucking infu, this, uh, this freaking simple syrup here. I hear that. I hear that. And that's the thing. Freaking smoking while well, it's the easiest, most effective way to deliver cannabis or THC into your system. Uh, it's not the healthiest and it's it's one of the hardest to recreate. And so by putting by put by figuring out the amount of the amount of milligrams of THC you have in every dosage, freaking and allowing and putting it in things that freaking that you prefer that will allow you to utilize it across a wide range of freaking uh, of edibles is the best way to go because there's a couple things that we do. Okay. Okay. And that, and that's, that's our next step. Freaking I've been freaking working on some, uh, there's, there's a couple of ways to, that you can use to extract psilocybin from mushrooms with your magic butter machine. Uh, so that being said, if I can extract psilocybin oil from mushrooms, okay, if I can do that, if I can, if I can get that oil, then I can infuse it into this honey because long as I can get it into that concentrated oil format, I can infuse it, excuse me, not oil, but syrup. I can infuse it into that syrup. And infusing it into that syrup is what's going to freaking allow you that portability and that freaking, yeah. And I think, I think, and I think that's going to be a game changer when people are able to infuse that psilocybin into syrup and then add cannabinoids to it. In, in the percentage that, yeah, in, in the percentage that it's freaking, it's going to need to be the freaking, uh, get your shit done. So, yeah, but man, oh, we're over time. Hey, again, we got to close it up. Like I said, I try to I try to keep our morning wake and bakes to thirty minutes. Uh, I try to keep them I try to keep them to thirty minutes because if not, we could sit here and chit chat all day. I want to send positive vibes out to my man Austin Rose. Be safe on the roads today. Be safe out there traveling. Freaking everybody else out there, stay tuned because there's some videos coming up. Uh, Freaking infused simple syrup with fruit, freaking calculating THC dosage, and a few other things that we're freaking doing videos on. Stay tuned for those on the YouTube and on the freaking, and on the, uh, as we talk about them in the group and on the channel. So also, I want to freaking wish everybody, hey, I want to let everybody know they only got 10 days left to get those Christmas presents. 10 days, today's the 15th. So, in review, Let's let's go back over. We got infused simple syrup. Be on the lookout for that. We're gonna freaking show a video how to make it. Uh, pipe cleaning, freaking one of the finest freaking things that I've personally used is grunge off if for a pipe soak. But we have a couple people out there that are let us letting us know the acetone. 
Acetone is also a freaking good. If you can find it without the fragrance and stuff, acetone is also a good alternative. Freaking a lot of people said boiling. Boiling your pipes is awesome. Freaking, but you got to be careful. And sometimes I'm kind of high, so I don't want to boil my pipes because sometimes I'll be like. So, yeah. Uh, dude, guys, ladies, girls, boys. Freaking children of all ages, do me a favor. Share this video far and wide. Tell your friends about it. Freaking check out our YouTube. Go here, smoke this. Freaking maybe give us a like and subscribe on there. Like and subscribe th to this video because check this out. This is your boy Slizwack from GHST, and we'll see you next time.